So hey guys, what is going on? It's GamerGod88. Just kidding, just kidding. It's Agility, guys. Uh, and today we're going to be resuming the Let's Play of our Mass Effect trilogy. Um, I think I uploaded the first video about 24 hours ago. But it takes a while to edit these videos because I'm such a cringy fucking commentator. And anything I say is fucking weird, so I have to, I have to fix it, you know. I have to spend like 20 hours revisioning the video because I'm, I'm just an awkward fuck. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a barrier here. Yeah, we can't go through. So we're gonna take the elevator downstairs. I smell trouble! Awkward elevator music, anyone? Uh, hello? Could somebody help me? Please? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. That's interesting. Oh, there's enemies ahead I see over there. I'm just gonna search the area around for more stuff. Sweet. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Okay, so it's this, 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 no. Oh, okay, there it is, and nope. Oh wow, that was pretty easy. So what did that do? Did that fire? Is there more to the puzzle? Uh... Oh shit. Oh, there's a thing down here I can go to. I didn't notice this. Oh, she, here she is. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Hold on, Commander. Her mother is working with Saren. Can we trust her? I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. <laughs> hey, 
Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airboard and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Not much margin for error. Well, this piece is fucking cool. How about instead of a trip to Disneyland, we'll take a trip to a Prothean ruin? That sounds more exciting, right, guys? You didn't notice this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. 
A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Go see the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? 
The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Ooh, and I leveled up. Sweet. Oh, wait, no, this is, uh... This is the wrong thing. It's this button. It's not this button? What button is it? Oh, it's this one right here. Okay, cool. So, I get some more ability points. I don't know what I should go for. Fitness? What that is that? That unlocks advanced immunity. What does this unlock? Advanced unity. I think I'm gonna go for neither of those and actually just... I don't even know what I want. Soul training. Advanced adrenaline burst. Man. All these things I could get. But I'm probably just gonna go into... Into charm and intimidation because I'm trying to get as... Uh, I don't know if the sto uh, the ending uh, has a lot of variation in this game, I kind of forget, but I know you want to keep these as high as possible to get more uh, dialogue options so you can get more points and stuff like that. Uh, I, I do think that the ending actually does vary on uh, how how far up your paragon or renegade is, and I'm, I'm going for a paragon kind of uh, playthrough to where I'm mainly like a good kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet, if you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew is. Is this an official evaluation, Commander? Or off the record? Elenko. When it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay. okay. I think there's something wrong with all this. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right, or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. 
But Saren's not gonna play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but I'll think about it. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of the dialogue that I find sort of interesting between Shepard and some of the crewmates, because some of their stories are really cool, and I do want you guys to, to see it, because it, it is really interesting. Commander, you have a minute to talk. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard <clears throat> the Normandy, but uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. A pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. These seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. <laughs> Hashtag turn down. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. 
There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Polis trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Alright, let's go check out some of these other planets in the system and see if there's any side missions we could do. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the Diplomat's Lounge on the Presidium. This is one of those worlds you have to drive the maker around uh, and look for things. Alright, uh, let's go check out another planet we can land on to get more uh, stuff and money, and then we'll call it an episode. There's a random base on this uh, random planet. Let's go check it out. Look out! Oh shoot. Go, go, go!
Oh, okay, so what gives me the ability to uh, carry heavy armor? Okay, so combat armor, okay. Then I will invest into that. Until I get heavy armor, and then I'm just probably never gonna do that again. Alright, boys and girls, this has been Agility, and this has been episode 6 of our walkthrough of the Mass Effect trilogy. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, a lot of story happened. I did some side missions for you guys. I gave you guys some more. Uh, obviously, gave you some dialogue, gave you a little more information about uh, who the aliens are on our team. Uh, so, yeah, that's been the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, remember to dislike the fuck out of this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe for more content. I will be playing the entire trilogy all the way through, so if you want to stick around and see that happen, then, uh, yeah. You're a fucking dick, dude.